What's up guys? My name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going over my family's September 2023 budget. As always, if you like this budget spreadsheet that I'm using, you can get it for yourself. It'll be linked in the video description. All right, this is my budget dashboard and you can see here with this monthly summary, kind of overall how we did. And it was a pretty good month. We stayed on track for everything pretty much, right? Yeah, we stayed on track for everything pretty much. And we ended up sending more to investing, which I categorize pay yourself first, than we had budgeted for. So that's always a good month. So let's just jump right into the numbers. I do have the itemized income blocked out for privacy, but we had budgeted $11,532 for income and we actually brought in $11,890. Moving over to pay yourself first, we had budgeted $600 for my husband's 401k that automatically comes out of his paychecks, which is great because we can't mess that up. So that did come out. And then for stock options, these are options we have through an employer to purchase stock at a discounted price. And hopefully that stock will be worth much more at a later date. So we exercised some options and contributed $1,400 this month. So that was all we did for pay yourself first. That was a total of $2,000 to pay yourself first. So we were able to put 16.8% of our income to pay yourself first, which is great. I always love to put at least 15% of our income to investing. And so we were able to exceed that this month. Next for debt, no debt. If you've been here a while, you know where we're at with that but basically my husband has a student loan that's our last debt on our debt-free journey we paid off over two hundred thousand dollars over the past four years and the last debt has such a low interest rate we put the cash in a high yield savings account and the payments just automatically pull each month and we don't even have to think about it so at some point we'll probably make a lump sum payment but not right now all right moving over to the more active part of the spreadsheet we've got our expenses and sinking funds so for expenses we had budgeted too much for taxes because um i actually changed our withholdings this month we over withheld for the first like eight months of the year kind of accidentally and so we noticed we were withholding too much compared to like what we paid in taxes last year our income hasn't changed that much so we reduced our federal income tax withholdings and so we had less come out in taxes this month by quite a bit and that's where most of the extra money came from they were able to send to investing so um you know i'd rather get the money now and not get a big tax refund because then i can decide what i want to do with the money rather than having to wait all the way until april to get that money back and then invest it or do whatever i'm going to do with it so that's how we like to do it i either like to owe a small amount or get a small refund i don't like to have a big tax refund so that's what we're aiming for with changing the withholdings around so hopefully i get it right but next for health insurance we paid 436 dollars fsa we had money come out of my husband's paycheck to pay for pre-tax medical and then storage is 212. I talked to you guys about this on my Instagram stories, but we got to notice that our storage is going up to $258 a month from 212, which is a huge jump. So I've been working hard to clean out our storage unit. If you are moving soon, I highly recommend anything you are not 100% sure you're going to need, as long as it costs like under $100, like just donate it, sell it, get rid of it, because otherwise you're going to pay so much more money and take so much more time just to store it. And you're probably not going to need it anyway. $258 a month, that's over $3,000 a year. So like, I don't feel like all the stuff that's in there is worth $3,000. Definitely not. So I just definitely want to downsize the storage unit. There are a couple of pieces. I was hoping we could get rid of it altogether, but it isn't possible. There are a couple pieces that we do need to keep, but we can greatly downsize to one that's hopefully like 50 bucks a month is my goal. So we'll see what I can get done. I'd really like to get it done in a short period of time. I don't want this project dragging on for six months because we are paying that every single month. So I am actively working on it. It does help that we are in an apartment that has a nice big dumpster. So anything we don't want, we can just put into the dumpster that's trash. You know, obviously we we're trying to sell what we can. I did make a sale of $10 on Facebook Marketplace for one piece of furniture that was in there. And there's some more stuff I can sell, but we sold so much stuff before we moved. Anyway, trying to get this to be lower, not higher, even though it is going to be higher for October. For rent, $3,225 is what we pay. That's not changing anytime soon. We signed our lease through next summer. 
Um, life insurance is $50. This may be going up. I am working on getting another life insurance policy. I already got one through Policy Genius a couple years back. And now with having two kids and inflation, just things are costing more. I just, my husband and I sat down and reevaluated what we thought would be a good amount of life insurance to have and thought it was a good idea to up it. And so we're looking into increasing our life insurance. Like I said, last time I used Policy Genius, I had a really great experience. They basically shop around for you and like help you navigate the whole process. So I spent maybe like 10 minutes on the computer to apply, had a 30 minute phone call with a live person. They helped me schedule an in-house medical exam. So somebody came to my house and did like a very short medical exam. And now I'm just waiting on the policy to go through underwriting. And I've applied for another term policy because it's, you get a lot of life insurance for a low cost. And so it works for my family's needs and our budget. So if you're interested in checking out Policy Genius for yourself, I do have an affiliate link that will be in the video description. And then internet and cell phone is 115. Home security is 28. Car insurance is 113. Spotify. 11 groceries um we did go over by 147 dollars honestly i feel like we've been buying the same things they just are costing more I, I feel like that's just honestly it we're not overspending on groceries or really doing anything crazy so i may increase this grocery budget even though it seems really high like this grocery budget is higher than our rent used to be when we got married but we are a family of four and we live in a high cost of living area and groceries cost a lot around here. So I really wanna stay on budget for this, but sometimes you just have to increase your budget. All right, gas, $264. Again, gas prices have been going up a bit, so I may need to increase this to like 250 to stay on budget, but we spent 264 in September. And then utilities, we spent $664. This also went over, although I'm really excited. I shared with you guys about this in one other video, but I'll tell you again, there is a service um, that we signed up for that helps lower your utility costs. So I didn't even know this, but there are different energy providers and you can in some states pick which energy provider and like shop around for the lowest rates. And so there's a service called Arbor that I signed up for and they help you automate this process. So I also am an affiliate for them, uh, but again, I use this myself. I believe in this product and I'm excited to save money in my own budget with it. So um, if you wanna check them out, my link is in the video description. And then miscellaneous, we had budgeted $125 and we didn't spend anything. Okay, moving on to the sinking funds. Um, nothing too exciting here. We just contributed $150 each to me, my husband, and my two daughters sinking funds. I love doing personal spending as a sinking fund because it allows you to save up for things. So in general, like my rule of thumb with sinking funds is if there's a category in your budget that some months you think you don't need to spend anything and some months you might wanna spend a lot of money. I like to do it as a sinking fund. So personal spending, birthdays, Christmas, um, what else, my cat, Miles, he's in here. We used to do like gifts and car maintenance. We cut that out, but I think I might bring those back. I don't know, I'm deciding what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit with like less sinking funds for the end of the year and then reevaluate in January how we're gonna strategize our sinking funds going into the new year. How is it almost 2024? This year just like disappeared in front of my eyes. Okay, school and activities, we only contributed 200 this month because we had some built up in there. Again, why I like sinking funds. Our income was a little lower this month, I think, so I had like pre-funded some of these. Miles got 250, that's my cat. And then for birthday and Christmas, we had a little extra money at the end of the month, so I just put that into the Christmas sinking fund since that's coming up and that was an easy place to throw it. So just looking at these reports at the top, so I already mentioned pay yourself first. We were able to send 16.8%. And then expenses were 72% of our budget. And then sinking funds were 10.9%. And for budgeted versus actual, you can see we're pretty close. We made a little bit more income than we expected and it all went to pay yourself first because our expenses were lower than budgeted and our sinking funds were like basically right on. So that is it for this month's budget. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about how the spreadsheet works, then comment below. I have had only but good reviews from you guys. I launched it almost exactly one month ago, which is so exciting because I really put a lot of time and thought into this budget. I love it for our own family budget and I hope you guys can make use of it to help you in your own financial journey as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.